Massive improvement. Ben. Oh, so that's where they went in. Not there. Oh, look, UCI, look. UCI logo on there. Welcome to Scotland. So welcome back to Try Trial MTB and in today we have finally made it to Scotland. We are up here just inside the border at a place called Glentress coming to ride the Red Route. It's about, I think, just over 10 miles. I'm not entirely sure to be honest, I haven't looked up the distance of the route, but it should be really good. I've been wanting to ride Scotland for ages and this is the start of our Scotland trip where we're going to be riding three different places across Scotland. Make sure to be subscribed for them. And yeah, we had a good drive up here. So let's jump into the video. I'll explain more once we get out riding, but it's been a pretty busy week with the bike. It's, um, yeah, new tires and a new back wheel. Long story. So we've got wheels on the ground in Scotland. I know that's a BKXC saying, but we're gonna roll with it for today at least. Bike's feeling good. She's got her new tires on her and her new rear wheel, which will be explained. Yeah, look at this bike. We booked a trip to Scotland. I therefore decided I need new tires on my bike because I'm going to the Peak District. I didn't have a lot of grip, so I got two new tires. They're just a simple DHF, DHR, 2.5 front, 2.4 rear. And basically, I decided I need them. I'm going to Scotland. I'm going to be riding Fort William, Lagan, and Glentress. I'm going to need some more grip. So, decided to just take the hit, buy two new tyres, cost me like 85 quid, but it's worth it. Then, this was the start of our issues. So then I go to take the tyres off the wheel, can't get them off. So I have to call up a bike shop, get them to take the tyres off. Because they're ridiculously tight on the rim, because they're track wheels. Then, after that, go home, look at my rear wheel, which already has a dent in it. And it's got a massive, massive dent in it. And yeah, so the rim had a little bend, sort of a, I don't know, bulge in it in a few places. And I already knew it was a bit dented, but I just didn't know how bad it was. And I looked at it and I was like, I'm not gonna get a new tire on there. And I took it into the shop again. And the guys were like, yeah, don't ride Scotland on that. So I was like, oh God. And this was Friday. So I ran home. We ordered a new wheel, rear wheel from Chain Reaction, 250 quid more. And then it came the next day, along with my tires, went to fit the rear tire. Everything went on fine. So that's all good. But the front one, I couldn't get the tire on because the rims are so tight. So I had to take it back to the bike shop. And I finished my bike about, I don't know, five o'clock Saturday night. And then I had to go out at seven on Saturday night because I had a meal for my school leavers thing. And yeah, it's been a pretty eventful few days. So after we've been here in Glentress, we've then got a four and a half hour drive up to a place called Elgin on the North Coast, where we're gonna be staying with my cousin for a few days. And now we've got some uphill rocks. I'm sure my dad will really appreciate that. So in BKXC's video, he was like, oh, we've just done a ride over in Glentress. Now we're gonna head up to Unleithen and do a ride over there. And I, I kind of wanted to do that, but there is no way we have time. This is where BKXC spoke about 
up there. Oh. Yeah, this is where BKXC was talking about Guy's daughter making him do a kettlebell class, something like that. Oh, I know the video too well, it's actually pretty sad. This is where he was talking about snort rockets and blowing them in the, uh, while cutting the lawn doesn't quite work the same as when you're out mountain biking, thinking of places I want to bike next. And I've got a pretty big list. <laughs> right, first downhill trail of the day. This is where I just hope I did my tires up tight enough <laughs> and did my wheels up. Oh, it's bumpy. Ooh. Can already feel the improvement in the grip though of these tires. Massive, massive improvement. Miles better than the old ones. <laughs> Ah, water! Ah, in my bad books. Ooh, tight corner. Ooh, <laughs> good little warm up there. More downhill. Ooh. <laughs> And that's it. Legs dead. Time to go home. Eight hour drive back to Norwich. <laughs> this could be an alternative video right now. This could be riding Pisgah in the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina. If I put on an American accent. Blue Ridge Mountains in the background. <sighs> nah, this is Scotland. Views up here are pretty good. So it turned out that this actually wasn't the top of the trails. In reality, we still had another couple of climbs left to go before we reached the top and got to the spooky wood descent, which you can see there on the right. But yeah, the views up here were absolutely incredible. I thought I'd make the most of having my drone with me and try and get some gorgeous drone shots just because the scenery was so stunning and I didn't get the chance to get any shots in the Peak District because it was just too windy. So we're now on our, what well, I'm hoping, is one of the last climbs. Obviously, I don't know. Some of you watching this video may well know. Even if this isn't a downhill, we're gonna treat it as if it is. Oh, gears are going funny. Or maybe this is the one that goes down and then goes up again. The top of the spooky with the scent now, ready to go all the way back down the hill, all the way back down to the car. Hopefully, unless there's any more uphills that I'm not aware of. Woo. Nice little jumps. Water. Woo. Ah. This is the descent that Glen Tress is famous for. The spooky wood descent. Fast and blowy and kind of bumpy at the same time. <laughs> oh, bumpy. Ah! <laughs> I didn't know they were there. In the videos I've watched, I don't remember them. Oh. Kills your arms and your legs. Oh. 
Oh, I didn't have enough speed for them. Woo! Woo! Oh, that one, my feet came off the pedal. <laughs> Dislodged itself. Oh, lost my momentum. It's my foot. I blame my foot. That was good. Ooh. Techie. And bumpy. <laughs> I don't know if this is still the spooky wood descent or not. I'm unsure about that. Oh. Hit that route the wrong way. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> it hurts in the little finger. God knows why. Okay, more, more goodness. Hopefully. Ah, it's dark. I've got sunglasses on. <laughs> oh. Ah, bumpy. Well, if anything, I think going to the Peak District has made me a little bit of a better rider because it's just sort of showed me bumpiness. And also, these tyres help a ton because they just give so much more grip. And with that grip just comes confidence because you know you can push the bike into the corners and you're not going to slide out and slip on wet rocks and things like that. All the kind of issues I used to have with my Schwalbe Nobby Nicks. You know, they, they're good tyres. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> that was just kind of a go for it moment. But yeah, my old Nommy Nicks, they're great for Thetford, but anywhere else, they're just a little bit 
they kind of lose their grip a bit. They just don't hold up as they should. And obviously, in somewhere like this, you want grip. You want faith that your bike is gonna be there to support you in the corners and isn't gonna slide out and cause you to crash, which obviously wouldn't be ideal. So I was wrong again. There are more uphills. I don't know if there's any after this one, but. Oh, <laughs> steep. Or is this bit even going to be steeper? Yep. <laughs> Okay, where do we go? Where do we go? This is not the way, this is not Peace Trail. <laughs> no, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, it's all good. It's all good. of a zoo here. Just that one part. <laughs> Smell of a zoo. Oh, ah, ah, <laughs> oh, that was uh, nasty. So it's up here. Ah, ah, now that was what you call being thrown in at the deep end. It's funny, now I've got new tyres. I also feel a little bit more confident on steeper trails because before if you've seen my Warncliffe video from last year or even my Sheffield video to some extent I wasn't overly confident on really steep trails and I do think it all has part to do with my wheels. Oh, back on the downhills. Huh? What? 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 Where are we going? Oh. Ah, no bam. There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was <laughs> unexpected. Oh, I don't want to fall off the boardwalk. It's just my luck. All I know is that it's in the open. It's a little bit muddy. Bumpiness again. Oh, that suddenly comes upon you. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if this is the last downhill on the trail, perhaps. Don't know, I'm not sure. Oh, I would, I would have done the higher one, but I didn't know how big it was. 
regret that now. This is not where you want to go over the edge. Although the go ape here looks quite fun, compared to the one back home in Thetford. Let's do the big one this time. Oh, that was a little bit steeper than I thought it was gonna be, to be honest. Nice fire road bomb now, all the way back down to the car. Technically I'm breaking the speed limit, <laughs> 10 miles an hour. Definitely doing more than that. Let's go to the toilet and have a look in the shop before it shuts. Have a look at that nice Trek slash. Oh, so we're now back to the visitor centre just Bought a multi tool because obviously I left mine at home, and yeah, it's quite nice. There's obviously calf down there. The bike shop also has some really nice hire bikes available and some X demo ones for sale there, which you just saw. Really good value. They were also in really good condition, much like the bike in the shop window, which was absolutely gorgeous. But my bike's not doing too bad. She looks pretty good after the ride. Likewise, my car is also looking amazing too. These were really good. Cherry and almond slapjack. Recommend. Anyway, we are now back to the car. We are here. We are absolutely knackered, both of us. Um, been on a long ride. Got a four and a half hour drive ahead of us. Four and a half hours. Got to drive all the way up to Elgin um, on the north coast. So it's not too bad. Great ride though. Glen Trest was really good. Um, definitely want to come back. Go to Inleith and then the Golfy too. Ride them. Definitely felt more confident. The bike rode much, much better with its new tyres on. Absolutely amazing. Best thing I ever did was to put the new tyres on that. New wheel was good. And yeah, looking forward to tomorrow's ride. Um, got to choose where we're going to go. Might go to Lagan, either Lagan or Tarland. So we'll figure out which one to go to. But yeah, it's good. Good ride, hope the video came out good. The drone footage looked amazing. Once we'd left Glentress, we then drove over one of the three bridges next to Edinburgh before we made our way into the Scottish Highlands where the scenery became stunning. We also drove past the distillery that we've driven past every single time we've been to Scotland and finally ended up in the Cairngorms region, which is one of my favorite areas combined with my favorite town in the whole of the UK, which is Aviemore. This gives me like a sort of American skiing town, a remote sort of smallish town vibe. Uh, I just really like it. It's got a nice vibe to it. It kind of feels like a walking, a hiking, even though they're the same thing, skiing, mountain biking, climbing. It feels like an adventure town. There's a lot of sort of outdoor shops and it's just a nice place. It feels, like I said, American for some reason in my mind. And I enjoy going through there. But unfortunately, today we were just driving through on our way up to Elgin. But yeah, I would definitely like to come back at some point in the future because I miss coming here. I used to come here a lot when I was younger on holiday. And yeah, definitely like to come back soon. And once we'd left Aviemore, we continued driving towards Elgin and we eventually arrived on this stunning road, which was 60 mile an hour, through the open, gorgeous views all around and dead quiet. There was nobody else on there. So someday I'd like to bring a Hyundai i30N up here and go down it quite fast. And yeah, that's it. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you next week with tomorrow's video. And yeah, right? Let's go ride.